excited about it. But check in every day possible just to connect with our news and planned events. Post words of encouragement. Please post words of encouragement on the page. Make your prayer requests known and comment on the post. So we're at the Sisters, um, Queen Sister, Survivor Sisters Facebook page and it's private. It's a no judgment zone. You don't have to worry about anything leaking out because we are in a private group and we keep it among sisters. Um, another way um, to be active is to participate in classes and our monthly socials. And finally, invite friends, invite your girlfriends to join this sisterhood. This is a unique sisterhood because it deals with broken hearts. It deals with um, recovery from abuse and domestic violence. It deals with recovery from any loss, from any hurt. And so this is what makes our community so unique. And so right now, I want to tell you about our calendar. That's what's on the calendar. Today is our July social. We have been enjoying our monthly socials. <laughs> We have been having a ball. I mean, if you have missed our monthly socials, I invite you to please, ma'am, go onto the Sister Survivor Sisters page and make sure that you see our calendar. But today, and there may be still tickets available, uh, we're going to the comedy show with Tony Rock. Ah, we're going to be laughing, have us some little refreshments, some little finger foods and things. And we're going to laugh and have a good time. You know, the Bible says that laughter does a body good like medicine. So it, it does us good to laugh. Sometimes we need to laugh. Stop being so serious all the time. Stop being so down all the time. Come on, let's laugh. It's going to be held at the Comedy Zone in Greensboro, North Carolina. So you can Google Comedy Zone or you can go to Facebook. Uh, the event is on our Facebook page. When you go to our page, um, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Queen Sisters, S-I-S-T-A-S, just click on the word events and you'll see and it'll take you right over to get you a $22 ticket. $20, girl, that ain't nothing. Come on, girl. Let's go on and hang out and have a good time. Make sure you let us know if you're going. Um, and I am so excited. So August is going to be determined. We're still trying to, you know, determine what exactly we want to do. So make sure you send us some ideas. September, September 19th, we have gotten our tickets for the Patti LaBelle concert. Oh my goodness. She is a legend in her right. And so we're excited. We're going to be seeing Patti LaBelle. And we also have some new Queen Sisters t-shirts that are going to be that being um, uh, made right now. And they're going to have some bling on excuse me, bling on it. So, you know, we're going to be cute and we're going to go as a group and have a good time. That's on September 19th in Greensboro, North Carolina. And October, this is so important. October is our annual, um, our second annual uh, Queen Survivor Award Ceremony. It's going to be held on Saturday, October the 23rd. And we're now accepting nominations through August 31st. So that means you can sponsor someone. If you know any woman who has survived anything. Now, we normally, last year, we focused on the domestic violence piece. Oh, it was wonderful. You have to go to our YouTube channel and see the video, uh, recorded video from the award show last October. We had some dynamic speakers. It was amazing. So sponsorship, what happens is every person you nominate that's accepted um, and sponsored, they uh, receive uh, an awards package. It has an award it, and a t-shirt and some other gifts and trinkets in it. And they get five to seven minutes to tell their story, how they've overcome hurt, abuse, loss. We This year, we're putting in COVID survivors. Come on, somebody. If you know somebody who has survived COVID, you need to nominate them and have them receive this award. It's a Queen Survivor, um, Sisters, uh, Queen Survivor Sisters Award. And we're excited. It's happening October 23rd. So mark your 
calendars. We're so super excited. And so those are the announcements. And I hope that if you didn't, if you're on the go, because, <laughs> you know, sometimes we're on the go, we can't, you know, do like we want to do. But if you're on the go and you need to write this down later, just replay the broadcast. Those who are on YouTube, those who are um, on Facebook, um, just record it later. And we um, are excited about what the Lord um, is doing. So I'm excited because life is good. God is good. We have miracles coming in. We have prayers being answered. All the sisters are booming with praise. And so I'm excited. And I said, you know, we got to get back um, to connecting. We got to get back to getting together. And that's what we're doing. So like I said, we've continued with our a monthly social events and we're going to still continue. We're going to just keep on solidifying our sisterhood and being there for one another. So I hope that you have these announcements. Don't forget, become a part of the Queen, Sister, uh, Queen Survivor Sisters Facebook page. Um, remember to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, which is at bit.ly forward slash B Michelle channel, M-A-S-H-E-L-L -L channel on YouTube. Get your Queen Sisters t-shirt. You get this one. Uh, we have two. We have a third shirt that's coming out um, in time for our um, event in September. And participate in the classes and the monthly socials. Um, we have a class that's starting this Sunday, which is the primary reason why I'm on here as well, because I want you to get ready. I want you to get your notebooks, get paper, get your journal. I want you to get a dedicated notebook or journal just for this class. It's a 21 days of inner healing. This is an inner healing class for those women who 18 and older. If you've been through any type of hurt, any type of heartbreak, if you've suffered hurt from a loss, if you've suffered hurt from the loss of a loved one or anything, loss of a job, it don't matter. I want you to get on this class. The class is free. However, if you would like to have the materials, um, the book, or the journal, or all three, there is a cause, but it's free. We'll be here starting Sunday at 6 a.m. Somebody say 6 a.m. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it because we're prepping for it today. You know, we got to be intentional about we what we're doing. If we want to have a good relationship, we got to be intentional about that. Well, what does it take to have a good relationship? If we want to have a job, we got to, a good job. We got to be intentional about that. Well, what does it take for us to get a good job that we desire in the field that we want to do? If we want education, we got to be intentional. Well, what are the steps to me getting this education? Where do I want to go? Associates, a master's, a PhD. We got to be intentional and we've got to figure out the steps in order to get what we got. Because, you know, there's a saying that if we fail to plan, we plan to fail. So it's all about planning it out because all things are possible. Right. And so if you want to get out of that rut of being depressed and down and, and hurt and rehearsing the hurt and the things that you've gone through and why you keep going through things over and over again, if you want this cycle to stop, this is what the class is all about. It's getting to the root cause of why things have happened in our lives, um, why we have allowed certain things, why we have um, perpetrated certain things even. Come on. Because sometimes we're the hurting per person that hurt other people, but we want to be delivered and free from that. And whom the sun set free is free, and we shall be free. Oh, before I forget, oh, <laughs> somebody should have reminded me. Before I forget, November, oh my goodness, November, that's when we're going to take a trip to New York. We're so excited. We're running out of spots. We're running out of spots, but it's still time, okay? So on a first serve, first serve, uh, first come, first serve basis. So um, it's our trip to New York, November the 4th through the 6th. We're leaving 11 p.m. on November the 4th, arriving in New York on the 5th, staying overnight. We're getting up, we're having lunch together, going shopping together, and we're packing up. We're leaving out, heading back to North Carolina, 
um, so we can be back by Sunday morning, Sunday or as early as possible. So we're excited about this. This is our first, um, well, actually, I guess be our second trip together. Uh, a couple of us went to Atlanta in January. And so now we're going to New York, New York. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, it's $185 per person um, with four people in the room, $255 with two people in the room. But let me tell you what it includes. It includes your hotel accommodations, round trip transportation, free breakfast, Chris, and the Christmas Spectacular Show at Radio City Music Hall ticket. Oh my goodness, this show I went, used to go years ago, with my job in New Jersey. And man, I love this show. It is so colorful and it has the Rockettes in it. Oh, MG. But it's a Christmassy type of show and it's very nice. Um, the deposit is $105 and it's non refundable due by the end of July. So if you have your deposit, you need to go ahead and sign up. Um, the deposit is non-refundable. And what that does is basically secures your seat at Radio City Music Hall. So I'm excited. We are excited. We are going to uh, confirm our seating uh, on July 30th or July 31st. And I'm so excited. So you have until July 30th. You still have time. You still have time. If you want to take your children or your child to a nice show, a nice trip to New York, if you and your sister, you and your mother want to go, um, this is a this will make a nice trip. And listen, it's on a first come, first serve basis. So if you want more information about that or you want to um, go ahead and secure your seat, you need to send us a message on our Queen Survivor Sisters page on Facebook, okay? Oh my goodness, you can also comment here on the YouTube and you can comment here on the Facebook Live as well. So we're so excited. So here's a way, woo, talking about today. Today, we wanna talk about and get prepped for tomorrow. Our next class starts tomorrow and it will run for 21 days. 21 days. This class is so significant to your inner healing. It's going to be at 6 a.m., a time set aside for you and I to invest in us. It's going to be all about you during this time. Hopefully no kids, no babies, no husbands, no boyfriends, no disturbances, no work, nothing. 6 a.m. for one hour, we're going to get invested in ourselves so that we can begin to find the tools and the resources and, and the spiritual help we need together and support that we need as a sisterhood to be healed from deep emotional hurts. And, and, you know, we're going to learn things like where the hurt came from. We're going to learn things like, you know, how to identify it with it and where we get our core beliefs from, like how to identify the right beliefs and the wrong things, the wrong beliefs, how to rebuild and, and, be, and have a rebirth of all of that so that we can live, um, turn our lives around. We can be free from deep emotional hurt. And so our lives can turn around for the better. How many want to be better? How many want to have a better life? You know, a better life that's full of peace, love, and joy, not just happiness. You know, I learned that happiness, it comes from events, things that happen. Things that happen can make you happy. But joy, when your joy is complete, nothing that happens can take that joy away. And that's what we want. We want our joy to be complete. Yeah, there's a song that says, Life now is sweet and my joy is complete. Why? We want our joy to be complete. So um, we are, many of us are spending time, we're blaming others. <laughs> Girl, we got time to be blaming others about where we at, our current state, rehearsing what they did, what they said. Just going over every time something's triggered, something else happened, we remember what they did. But then there comes a time, and the time is now. There comes a time when you have to say to yourself, enough is enough. And you have to make up in your mind that you will no longer give power to the hurts of, of your past and to continue to control and manipulate your life. And it, it, it's that... That's what you need. And that's what you're going to get in this class. 
Again, now the class is free, but you may purchase class materials, a journal for a more comprehensive experience. And the class materials are $10 electronically. We'll email it to you. And the journal is $10, which we'll actually mail to you for a total of $20 if you want both. And these are optional, so there's no, you don't, it's not, you don't need it because you can attend the class and take notes with your own notebook. Now, I'm going to warn you now, this class and with any, anytime you're learning something, you need to have a space to take notes that's just dedicated for that. So that when you go back, you can pull it off the shelf just like a book. This is going to be your journal of 21 days, a uh, 21 day healing journey. That's what this book, this journal, your notebook is going to be all about. It's going to have everything in it about 21 days to healing because listen, I've experienced the, the, this class and many times, most of the time, you're going to need to repeat this class. Sometimes with before a year is up, you're going to need to repeat it. Sometimes you're going to have to go back and refer to it on your healing journey. Now, this is just to get you started. So <laughs> don't think this is going to be the end all. This is just to get you started. But we want to get you started. Um, and they'll be broadcast on, on YouTube live and on privately on our Queen Sisters page. So uh, we're excited. It's going to be Zoom. You can uh, get on through, through Zoom. The Zoom meeting ID is 847-3876. 8550 and the passcode is the word healing all lowercase so you got several ways that to be in this class on our page on youtube or via zoom so i want to see you there i want to see you there um this is my passion i'm so excited about this class because you know what uh, healing is the children's bread and it's just so needed um there's so many of us women we just need um that healing um and we need god to just come through so um now i'm going to um share with you our 21 days to inner healing and i'm going to go ahead and share this on um, YouTube through the Zoom um, recording. So let me go to where we want to share. All right. Okay. So we are sharing now. Uh, we're going through this 21 days to inner healing. And this is just an introduction. This is prep. This is just prepping us for this class tomorrow. Listen. If you have been hurt and broken over anything and you're not sure that you're completely over it, this is going to bless your soul. This class is going to bless you tremendously. I'm just messing with this hair because I tell you, it's just, it's big. It's, it's all over the place. But um, this uh, class is going to bless you 21 days to inner healing. Um, I'm B. Michelle. I will be your instructor. Um, we're going to be inviting other people to come in and impart into you. So this class is going to be full of uh, wisdom and full of impartation. The book is by um, Pastor Jimmy Evans. He's an excellent um, pastor and minister, him and his wife. They're over the XO Marriage Ministry. They deal with marriage and relationships. They deal with inner healing. Um, they tell their testimony about how it took inner healing for them to heal their marriage. So even if you are a wife and you are you're engaged or you're in a relationship with hopes of getting married or staying together, um, this will hopefully give you this will give you the tools that you need for you yourself to heal so that you are not the problem in your relationship so that you can heal from your hurt so that you um, can be um, a part of the solution. And so um, our daily plan, this will be our daily plan. Um, 21 days, uh, 21 day step-by-step -step guide to inner healing, 21 day journey. That's the book. You can actually go to 21 day journey, um, .com and um, get the physical 
journal. Mine just, I got a new one that just came in and they make them differently. Now it's bound in this nice bounding, um, the spiral bounding, binding. And it's, um, it's, it's just, it's a beautiful um, journal. Um, and on their page is $15. Um, and you of course have to pay for shipping. Um, but if you would like us to get that book for you, you can just um, send us $20 at Cash App, dollar sign um, for V Michelle. But this journal, uh, this is going to really, and you really can use, this is going to bless you so much. This class, again, we're starting in the morning. All of us have pain and baggage from our past. Um, a few of us um, know how to deal with it. Um, with those hurts and as they're happening, but a lot of times learning how to move from toxic emotions and bondage from the past into an inner peace and healing, it takes work. It takes some work and patience with ourselves. So this book, um, this is a journal. And again, if you would like to get that, you can just send us $20. Um, you can get more information by messaging on YouTube uh, or commenting on Facebook Live, or you can message us on the Queen Sisters page. It's 21 days, plans, and videos from Dr. Jimmy, Jimmy Evans. And each day, by watching a brief teaching from him on the EXO Now app and working through the journal with scriptures, questions and application exercises this will transform your life and your relationships in just 21 days 21 days uh, the uh this uh psychology um and um um the psychology area um community they believe that it takes 21 days to change behaviors so 21 days to change from a bad to a good behavior, 21 days to change from a good to bad behavior. But whatever you're changing uh, the behavior, 21 days and you can set it and not forget it, but set it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a thing with that, uh, that cooker that turns the cooker around and cooks the turkey or whatever. Yeah, they say set it and forget it, but we're not going to forget it. We're going to set it and we're going to keep remembering it and keep focused on it so that we will not forget it. Um, so let's move on. And I hope that you're getting ready. I um, want to talk about deep hurt. This class is going to dig deep um, and, and really get to the core of deep hurt, you know, things that, you know, come up in your mind and your heart and it can make you cry. It can make you feel hurt like your heart is being ripped out. And many times we do not know how to respond to hurtful people and situations. That's just the honest truth. We just don't. And the end result is whatever has happened to us to hurt us, it leaves us scar, leaves us with a scar deep down inside of us that shouldn't be there. The scar shouldn't be there, but yet is there. And it keeps us from being the fulfilled and joyful person that God intended us to be and that we deserve to be. So we want to get um, into this deep hurt. That's one of the things that we're going to deal with. Um, the, the most important thing I'm, we, you know, and I like this, um, if you're, for those who are on YouTube, I like, you can see that I'm sharing my page. Um, we could say we're fine when somebody asks us how we're doing and we say, I'm fine, but we're really not fine. And that's the thing. We're depressed, we're sad, we're hurt, confused, lonely. We feel unloved, judged, misunderstood, insignificant, broken, dying inside. Just we're insecure. We got so much going on. But when somebody asks us how we're doing, what we say, I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm good, when you know you're not good. And so this class is going to allow you the space and time to yourself. This is this means that at this class starting tomorrow morning, every morning at 6 a.m., this is going to be your time invested in you where you get a chance to deal with the fact if you're not fine with something, if you're not fine with what he said, what she said, what they did, 
this is the time to deal with it, you and God, and you and, and us together in our sisterhood, so that we can su be supportive to one another. It's all about getting that deep hurt, getting it up, out, and, and throwing it away. We're about to divorce this hurt. Yes, yes, yes. And it's important to know who you are and who you want to be. That's what self-awareness is all about. So we're going to, you know, become more self-aware through this class. It's so important. You can't go higher and elevate. You can't level up. <laughs> you can't level up without self-awareness. Self-awareness is the ability to take an honest look at your life without attaching it to being right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. It's just finding out exactly who you are, where you are, what are you made of, you know, that's what being self-aware is. Now, what you do with that self-awareness is you determine, now, is this who I want to be? Um, is this where I want to be? Is this how I want to be? Is this the lifestyle and the life uh, that I want to live? And if not, now you can judge it and say, hey, this is not where I want to be. I want to be better in this area. And so that's what being aware is all about. And I tell you, I'm telling you, with this, it's going to turn you from blaming other people and pointing at other people and worried about what they did and what they said to pointing within yourself and saying that you have control. You have full power and control over it. And you take authority and the hurt is going to be, it's got to go. It's got to go. All right. And so just to tell you some things about me, who is V. Michelle? Let me tell you who I am. I am V. Michelle. Um, I am the founder of Healing Broken Hearts. Um, it's a beauty healing and financial education for women. Um, you can find me online at vmichelle.com. You can um, look at my videos there, um, or you can also watch them on the YouTube channel. And you would go to bit.ly forward slash vmichelle.com. That's V M A S H E L L dot com. And ch uh, uh, channel, okay? I'm sorry, it's bit.ly forward slash vmichelle channel. And I'm telling you, God is doing some miraculous things. He is healing women. He is helping women all over. Um, that people, women uh, contact me. And, and what I have to do, what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to start sharing anonymously some of the questions and the answers that we're giving to women to help in relationships, to help in life, being a woman, overcoming obstacles, overcoming hurt, um, being a survivor of domestic violence, abuse, being a survival of loss, you know, losing a loved one, losing, you know, you, maybe your, your, all your worldly possessions, but you are an overcomer and you're not by yourself. So V. Michelle, I was born 52 years ago, almost 52 years ago, <laughs> born in Memphis, Tennessee, yes, and during my life, I've experienced a lot of emotional hurt, um, and in my first book, He's Not the One, um, it, and it, it's on Amazon, and I'll give you the link to that later, but in my first book, I received a lot more healing from my childhood just talking about it. Just talking about the first time I saw domestic violence. I was about four or five years old. The first time, the second time I seen it, it was through um, my own relationship with my biological mother. Uh, the third time I seen it, it was through my relationship with an aunt, an aunt of mine. Her husband was beating the crap out of her and I would be protecting my little cousin while this was going on. And so domestic violence tried to follow me from childhood into adulthood, but we have uprooted that. We have some inner healing there and God has healed me and he has brought me from the place where those things hold me captive. That generational curse 
well, wanted to hold me captive and God has set me free. And so I'm no longer a victim of abuse. And that's where God wants you to be. So the things that I experienced as a child, it affected me for over 40 years. And I've been in four serious relationships, but the deep hurt, the hurt deep down inside, it caused me to continue to choose hurtful people. Come on, I know, <laughs> girl, I know this is good. Somebody can relate that, you know, you know what hurt feels like, but how in the world do you keep choosing hurtful people that hurt you? So these are the things that are going to change. In 21 days, you will no longer, it will no longer be accepted in your life. Um, and so to go on, now I'm a fully grown woman who is mature emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And I'm proud and thriving in the new me. It's the new me. I'm new. The Bible talks about when we're born again, old things are passed away and all things are become new. That's not just at the point of accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, having a relationship with God, but that's on the point, that's at the point of any rebirth. How many know that there's rebirth can take place? in various ways, in various areas of our lives. And so this class starting tomorrow morning is going to deal with the emotional rebirth, your emotional rebirth, where you're going to be new. That instead of emotions controlling your life and manipulating your mind and, and taking over your life and situations, you're going to be having authority over your emotions and over everything that has hurt you. And so I'm a mother. That's my first ministry. Listen, if you are a mother, if you are a wife, don't nothing come before home. The Bible says charity begins where? At home. It ain't no sense in us going, you going outside of this house and treating other people better than I treat the people that are inside my home and my family. No, no, no. That's out of order. So my first ministry is me being a mother. I was married. I'm no longer married. So now my first ministry is to be a mother. Glory be to God. And then I'm a mentor. That's how I teach others, like I'm going to be teaching during this class, just like I'm talking to you right now. Glory be to God. And then I'm an evangelist, a teacher, a prophet. So these are my spiritual gifts, and this is my spiritual assignment. And so I teach, I preach, and I prophesy. I actually have insight when the Holy Spirit is prompted and gives it to me to tell you what thus said the Lord. And so we're uh, just uh, excited and just honored that God would just use me at a time like this to impart into your life. It's real. And God, Jesus is real. Glory be to God. And the healing that you need is real. And the last thing that I am is an entrepreneur. And that's how my gifts make room in my pockets. <laughs> Entrepreneurship, that's how I make money. My gifts make me money. So I'm more than just this lady that's rambling on this thing or just talking on this live. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? And it's important for you to know who you are and who, and if who you are, once you become aware of who you are, if it's not who you want to be, it's time for a change. Glory be to God. So you can go to vmichelle.com to read more about me. I'm going to tell you about um, some, my path, my path. How did I get here? Because see, there's a path to where you're supposed to go. All right. And God knows where you're supposed to go. But sometimes you don't know. Do you know your purpose? Do you know where you're supposed to go? This class is going to help ignite all of these things are going to just be ignited in you. Hello, Golda. I got something for you. I'm so glad you're on here. I have been absent and I have something for you, darling. I have something I got to get with you. I got to get with you as soon as possible. Um, and so I just thank God for the path that I have had. Now, after, um, um, going, relocating here, I, I figured out in, in my first marriage ending, um, I figured out that I never, I had majored in marriage 
instead of majoring in me. All right. And we're going to talk more about this during these 21 days. A lot of us, we major in marriage, but we don't major in us. We major in other people, but we don't major in us. Glory be to God. This time, starting tomorrow morning from 6 to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you're going to be majoring in you. This is your time. Amen, Golda. I know that's right. Got to root it up and we got to separate and divorce all this crazy stuff. Amen. Glory be to God. And I just thank God that in 2009, I was able to go back to school. It was something that I had endeavored and wanted to do since I graduated high school. But then what I do, out of high school, fresh out of high school, I want to get a boyfriend and marry the first thing, smoking. And that's another mistake. We want a man in our lives, but we don't allow ourselves a chance to grow. We don't have, allow ourselves a chance to develop. But you know what? It's never too late. I don't care if you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, you can still develop you. Come on. You can still have that beautiful life and, and that storybook ending that you desire in your heart. Yes. And so I found out that if I wanted to make more money, that I basically needed to get my education straight. So um, I worked on that and I'm still doing that. Um, I invested in my education and I'm still investing in my education. I obtained my first degree um, in business administration from Australia University in 2012. Um, I, I currently am on a four year track to complete my master's and doctorate. What are you doing with your education? Do you have a desire? You might not want a four-year or a six-year degree, but what about a certification? Something that can put money in your pocket, something that can give credence and, re and, and, and um, respect to your profession, to who you want your brand. All right, we'll talk about that. Oh, we got a lot to dig in. But you need to invest in you. Invest the time, the money, the resources in yourself. And that's what you're going to get more and more comfortable doing. So that's my education. And then ministry. So with my first marriage, we pastored a church together um, for about three years from 2002 to 2005. And it was called Living for Christ, Family Resurrection Ministries in Trenton, New Jersey. It was a beautiful ministry, beautiful um, uh, mission and every vision. And, you know, that ended. And so the Lord, you know, I remember back then being told some things, well, you know what, you ain't going to, you know, make it, you know, by yourself. You ain't nothing, you know, without him and you, this and that. And, you know, the Lord woke me up and had to tell me because the enemy tells some of you that, that you're nothing without the man in your life that he was uh, the reason why a lot of things has happened and a lot of things have transpired, but the devil is a lie. We don't honor and give credit to man. Now, God might use a person, but they're not the source. God is the source and they were the resource, but God gets all the glory. And so the Lord had me to start. I started this single ladies ministry. It was a little book club in my house and it branched out to where I started started being online and now men and women from all over are uh, on that page. It's called Healing Broken Hearts Ministry HB um HM HBHM. Make sure that's the, the group, the page that you look for on Facebook. And it helps men and women heal from brokenness. Um, started as a single ladies book club again, and then it grew into an online presence to empower men and women. And so I'm very um, honored and blessed to uh, be um, the founder of that, of Healing Broken Hearts. It, it, it's, it's all in the name, honey. And your heart gets broken, you need some healing. Uh, as your heart gets broken, you need to step away from it and heal and go on. You need to understand, learn from it, learn from it, because <clears throat> there are no mistakes. All right, there's lessons. Learn the lesson, forgive yourself, forgive others, and go on with your life. Glory be to God. Don't let it draw you back and keep you from living your life. And then 
after that, um, the Lord put it in my heart to do something just for women. We got so many women. We have over we had over 4,000 members in these groups. And I was like, oh, we just got so many. Now, we have um, reduced the group size because, you know, when people are inactive, we just, you know, it's no sense in having dead weight. And so I think we have maybe a couple thousand in that group still. And so, but um, it's um, the new brand that the Lord gave me to launch last year was, is V Michelle, V Michelle. And, you know, cause I was saying, well, Lord, you know, my biological father, I don't have his name. My father, um, I have his name. He's not here. And then I said, well, God, you know, and then I've been married more than once. And I'm like, Lord, my name, my name, my name. And he said, yes, I gave you that name. It's something in a name. It's something in a name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Golda. Oh, my God. God is good. Yes. Yes, our confidence is based on the rock of Jesus because we man can't take the credit from God. You know, that when man tries to take the credit, then he tries to put us, the enemy tries to put us in bondage. You know, it's not really the person, but it's the, uh, the enemy, Satan himself, trying to put us in bondage to make us feel less than who we really are. So be Michelle the brand. Um, it's about beauty, healing, financial education for women. And this is where we teach women enterprise, business enterprise, how to start a smart, small business, how to make money with your gifts, how to figure out what your gifts are, how to write a book, how to do the things, how to do a budget. Um, you know, all the things that we need dealing with our money, dealing with feeling pretty, dealing with being healed inside and out. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you. And so, the Lord gave me V Michelle, and you'll see that most on everything. As a matter of fact, I'm using it for my new book, which will be launching soon, but I won't leak the cat out of the bag for that just yet. And then um, just at the end of last year, the Lord um, gave me a name so that we, because I went through, I don't know if you've heard of um, Dr. R.C., Rev. Bishop R.C. Blakes, and he has a father-daughter talk series, and he talks about the things that a father, good father, would sit down and talk to his daughter about. And for those of us who either never had a father or lost our father, um, he has him and he has some good things to teach us the things that a father would say, the things, how a father would protect, um, what a father would tell us to look out for in a man. Glory be to God. And I love it. And um, he has this thing called Queenologies, but the, the Lord had me to just take that and, and, and say Queen Sisters. So we are the Queen Survivor Sisters, Queen Sisters. We are, have been getting, coming together since December um, of last year. We do social events each month where we come together, we talk, um, we support one another, we pray together, and we have fun together. So Queen Sisters, that's our social events and how we, we travel and, and, and go to social events. We're going to an event tonight. I'm so excited. And we're doing something every month. Once a month, we come together. And um, I'm so excited about that. And then the next thing the Lord gave me is one of my gifts. Because see, your gift will make room for you. Your gift, you're supp we're supposed to use our gifts. Glory be to God. We're supposed to use our gifts. Whatever God gives, if you're a great thinker, that's a gift. If you're good with numbers, that's a gift. If you're good with making crafts, that's a gift. That's a gift. If you're good with cooking, that's a gift. Like anything you're good at, that is a gift from heaven above, from God himself, and we're supposed to use it. So I have this gift of loving to dress up and to wear, you know, sparkly stuff, jewelry, clothes, and all this. So God gave me V. Michelle's, the world of bling and things. Glory be to God. So now I'm selling my jewelry. I'm like doing makeup, uh, you know, tutorials. I'm dressing up, going on modeling sessions, and I just have fun with it. It's the world of bling and things. So you look for a lot more coming through that. 
There is a Facebook page called V Michelle's World of Bling on Facebook. So you can look for that. Got plenty of jewelry on there. We'll be doing more lives now. And I'm just so excited. It gives me an opportunity to bless you. It gives me an opportunity to connect with you, to connect with women from all over to hear your story, um, to impart into you, you know, that love and that, and, you know, compassion um, and support that we all um, need. And so God has done that. And then the newest thing, um, it's called the V. Michelle Company. And this is where um, we're able to, uh, we'll soon be finished um, with being able to do some other business things, to do some other business things. But this is where um, we do life insurance, auto insurance, homeowners insurance. This is where we do um, a budgeting class and how to save for the future. Um, this is where we're able to do a whole bunch of things to help um, you and your family um, with your money. Glory be to God and with the things that you need. So um, we just thank God. Um, oh, wonderful. Yes, Golda, you do need to rekindle that. It's so important that it, the thing ain't dead, honey. Honey, long as we living, girl, we can keep on going. Rekindle that thing, honey. Get that thing going, honey. But yes, and I will support you. So you you got you a supporter already, girl. Get that thing going. And we will be um, working on teaching how to cast your vision, write it out, make it plain, come up with a plan. Yes, it's all about staying connected with like-minded people, people that are going to push you and, and get you to where you need to go. So I'm just so happy for you. I'm so happy for every one of you um that have plans and so again this this time we're doing tomorrow it starts at 6 a.m 6 a.m tomorrow it starts and i want you to know that it's going to be all about you and those that are on youtube you can see this funny picture with the lady with her hair flying back so <laughs> I love that picture because what that picture says and means to me is that, you know, life is crazy. This crazy hair, right? Life is crazy. Um, Chicago time, are you Eastern Standard Time or Central Standard Time? What's your time, your time zone, Golda? And so it's 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you tell me your time zone, then I can look it up. Okay. Well, it's like about 2.30 here where I am. What time is it where you are? And then that'll tell us what your time zone is. So getting back to this all about you, we wanted this class to take away all the craziness, all the crazy thoughts, all the crazy emotions, everything that's just going crazy and it's just triggering and just popping off inside. We're getting ready to quiet some of that down so that we're able to focus and organize our lives and live more intentionally and in getting things done. So it's going to be all about you. It's all about you during this time. That means, okay, so you're an hour behind us. Yes, 2.28 where I'm at. So this would be from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. your time. However, you can replay it, Golda. So if that five to six is too early, you can replay it um, in the Queen Sisters page and also on YouTube. So don't worry, but it needs to be an early time where, or late, very late time where everyone's out of your way. There's no kids, no husband, nobody's in your way, just quiet. Just you, where you can sit and you need a dedicated notebook or journal. <clears throat> and I did let you know, if you want the materials, it's $20 for the uh, class materials and a journal. If you'd like to, uh, you can get your own. The class is really free. And you can just get a notebook and make sure you write on there 21 days or inner healing class. And you can go back to it. Just put it where you, when you put it down, you know, these are all my notes and all of my thoughts on you know the, the 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 classes in the 21 days so you can always refer to it 
Glory be to God. But this is important that you make sure that when you join this class and you're listening, that there's no distractions, okay? It's very important that you have no distractions because this is all about you. And it's not always about what you want. It's about what you need. <laughs> Glory be to God. You know, we can be babies sometimes as women. I want, I want, I want, or I don't want, I don't want, or I don't like, I don't like, or I like, I like. And we can be in that, but God wants us to grow from that and realize what is what what are the things we need versus what are the things we want. So sometimes it's not always about what we want. And what we, because I'm going to tell you, you, you ain't going to want to get up in the morning, but guess what? It's going to be what you need. Glory be to God. I know I probably struggle too, <laughs> but I'm going to get up, honey. I'm going to get up and I get up anyway. I'll be doing other things. I have other clients. I'll be doing their files and, and deadlines on things with my business outside of work. But guess what, honey bond? I'm going to be up, honey. I'm going to be up with you. I'm going to be up, honey. I'm going to be up. We're going to be up, honey. This is going to be our time. We're going to learn to get up. And the more that we get up, the more we're going to want to get up. Because this thing is going to be our special time. And ain't nothing going to disturb it. So 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And I've had some losses and some things go on with me. So yes, go to inbox me your information. I need your email address. I need your mailing address if you want this stuff. And um, if you just want to be in the class and take notes, it's totally free. If you want the materials for the class, it's $20. So, um, but we wanted it to be all free. So remember, this time is all about you. You've got to find a time to just be you and God. Just you, just you and your sisterhood or you and God, that nothing is interrupting that because God is trying to reset you, all right? This is your month of reset because August is coming. Honey, it's going to be number eight, the, the, the month of new beginnings. You've got the, some new stuff about the jump. Oh, girl, some new stuff about to jump off, some new stuff about to, you about to level up, all right? And so God wants to prep us. And that's why I felt it was so important for me to just talk with you today to remind you about this class. And also by the end of the class, you should be able to know who, where you have been, who, where you are now, who, where do you want to be, who, write a, write a vision. You be, should be able to write a plan or a vision, change and thrive. Come on. How many want to thrive? Come on, somebody. God brought us through this pandemic. They try to say it's going to be another. <laughs> but guess what? We're going to believe God. We're going to believe God. Yes, it's time to invest in you because God is some things that only God can do. Only you and God getting together will happen. Glory be to God. So you are going to thrive after this class. And it's called Inner Healing, 21 Days Inner Healing Journey, a step-by-step -step guide to emotional health by J Dr. Jimmy Evans. And you can purchase your book or, and your journal through Cash App, $40. Um, you send it to Cash App, it's dollar sign for B. Michelle, dollar sign, the number four, B. Michelle, that's B-M-A-S-H-E-L-L. -L. All right, you can inbox me or comment if you i uh, got any more questions on that. I just want to motivate you so that you don't miss this class. People are talking about they're going to come to this class. Girl, it's going to be hard to get up in this class. But guess what? I'm telling you, when you sacrifice, honey, this thing, it's an anointing and it is a, a blessing and a workflow and a, and a gift of favor like none other that will flow through your life. And so the road to success is, is through commitment. Wanted to just talk to you a little bit about that. <laughs> we got to commit, girl. Some of it, sometimes we have a problem with seeing things through and getting things accomplished because our commitment is not there. And you know, and it's hard. You know, you think about a marriage, that's a lot of work. It takes a big commitment. That's like one of the things, I mean, buying a house, that takes a commitment. Uh, Having a baby, commitment, you know, any type of relationship, a job, it takes commitment. And so you're successful because of your commitment to it. Motivation is what gets you started, but commitment is what keeps you going. 
even when you ain't motivated, even when you don't feel like, girl, we, <laughs> we ain't going to feel like getting up in the morning, but we got to get up. Get up. That alarm clock, come on. Okay, you can snooze it one time, but turn that snooze off. Come on here, Brian. We got to get up. <laughs> Yes, now it is time to press forward, honey. We've got to put in your, we got to put in our mind to be committed. We've got to be committed and staying loyal to what you said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in. Glory be to God. That's commitment. That commitment means when I don't feel like being committed, I'm still going to be committed because guess what? I made the, the commitment. And, it, and the Bible says it's better for us not to make a vow than to make a vow and break it. Now, what better person is it to make a vow to than to ourselves? I'm not going to break no vow with me now. <laughs> I might do a lot of things, but when I promise myself something, I'm usually going to make it happen. Honey. I'm usually going to make it happen. So this is so important. So make sure you're ready for the commitment and even if you're not ready you just keep telling yourself i'm gonna be committed to this keep getting up keep watching the videos keep being engaged keep asking your questions keep telling your testimonies until we get through it because <laughs> we gonna get through this girl and so let me help you though let me help you mm. Mm, mouth got dry to drink a little something mm. Let me help you though. Let me help you. God ain't gonna just leave us there. You gotta be committed. No, we we how am I gonna be committed? <laughs> you need to write this on your wall. 10 ways that you can stay motivated. This is just a little bit, just some ways. Now you can use this on work. You this is 10 ways to stay motivated at work. Now when I when I'm saying at work, I'm not just talking about on your job. I'm talking about at work on you. <laughs> Cause we working on us, girl. Girl, you got the work. I got the work on me, girl. <laughs> Sometimes we have to have a come to Jesus meeting with ourselves. Debbie saying, Nisi, you better get it together. Be Michelle, now you know. <laughs> I got to get it together, but we got to stay motivated. And these are some ways to stay motivated. You ain't going to just be motivated. You ain't going to just want to get up at five o'clock in the morning. You ain't going to just want to get up at six o'clock in the morning. Girl, we already know that's a lie for the pit. We're not even going to start that lie. <laughs> We're going to tell the truth and shame the devil. We want to be motivated, though. We want to stay motivated. So this is how we're going to stay motivated while we're working on us, while we're working at our job, while we're working on our business plan. Absolutely, you're worth it. Say that, Golda. You're worth it. I'm worth it. You're worth it. We're all worth it. You got. We got to say that to ourselves. I am worth it. So number one, see the bigger picture. All right, you might be getting up at five o'clock, but guess what? You ain't got to turn no camera on. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Look, if you don't get in that shower before, listen, you could be listening while you're in the shower. <laughs> oh, if you throw that leg over and roll on me like, Lord, I don't feel like getting up. Girl, you could just lay over right where you at. Five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock, I said, look, but I'm in there. Now, now really, you do want to have your notebook and be taking notes. But just in case, you just got to do that replay. Get on up and at least listen to it. Lord, I'm listening. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's just good to be in the midst. You know what I'm saying? So some of that anointment, I call it anointment, just can trickle on down on me, you know, just to be in the room, just to be in the presence of what's going on. You know, I might not feel like it, but I'm in here, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord, I might be tired. Lord, I might can't open this eye, God, but I, I'm up getting it, Lord. I'm listening, Lord. I'm sitting up, Lord. <laughs> Some of y'all going to be, y'all going to be going through for the first week, but that's all right. You're going to get through by week three. 
You're going to be at it. You're going to be a new woman, honey. You're going to be getting up like clockwork, getting stuff done, getting your little chores you didn't get finished the previous night done. You're going to be getting your journal written for the day. What I got to do today? You're going to be ready, honey. Taking your vitamins. <laughs> Whipping them kids out that bed. Come on here. Let's get ready for school. <laughs> you going to be ready after these three weeks, honey. You going to be a driving force, honey. You going to be to have your flyer made, your, your call list made, your, your packages packed up, everything ready to ship out for your business. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning. You going to do it. It's going to change your life. And so number two, avoid procrastination. Let's not procrastinate. We know we got to get something done, you know, and I have been, I've been working on that. <laughs> you know, we don't procrastinate in everything, but we might procrastinate on them dishes, though. <laughs> we might procrastinate on getting that laundry done. Lord, all these clothes. Where all these clothes come from? That's what I be saying. <laughs> Buy some more clothes. Don't buy another thing. All these clothes, Lord Jesus. <laughs> we might be procrastinating on some things, but we got to learn how to avoid procrastination. What better time than to get stuff done than right now? Right now, turn that TV off, turn the social media off, and get it done. Like while we laying up there, we laying up there not getting it done. Come on, stop doing that. Turn off that TV. Lord Jesus. And we're going to get it done. Number three, self prep, self pep talk. We got to give ourselves a pep talk. We got to, hey, we got to pump us up. Look, if we don't do it, who going to do it? They, when I was coming up, we called it gassing, gassing, gassing your head up, gassing your head up. Yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all too young. Y'all don't know about gassing. You just gassing me up. Yeah, gassing your head up. That's what you got to do to yourself. <laughs> you got to tell you, you got to tell yourself, look, I can get up. I get up in the morning. <laughs> you know, you ain't hardly trying to get up, but we going to get up this time. We going to start getting up now. I'm getting up five o'clock in the morning. I'm getting up six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to be up. I'm going to be in this class. I'm going to get changed in my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> so two, got to give yourself that, that self pep talk. Number four, take responsibility if you did a bad job. Look, if you messed up, take responsibility. Ooh, ooh, I know that went over people's head because see, look, we the last one want to take responsibility for when we messed up. No, because it's they did it and because they made me do it. And then, you know, and it wasn't me. They did it. If it, they had to did that, then I wouldn't have did this. <laughs> Lord, we can talk ourselves out of some accountability, can't we? We have to be responsible. No, you're responsible. You know you ate that two, that second piece of cheesecake. Well, if they didn't have it in here, I wouldn't have ate it. <laughs> you know you'd have ate three donuts. Well, they shouldn't have had no donut day at the job. They just tempted me. <laughs> well, if my desk wasn't over there, then I wouldn't even seen a donut. <laughs> Oh, Lord. No, we've got to practice some self-control and take responsibility for our actions, okay? When we mess up, you messed up. It's all right. It's not a mistake. It is what? It's a lesson, okay? Anytime we mess up, well, this is called a mistake, but it ain't nothing bad about it. We have to learn from our mistakes. That's why they're lessons. I like to call them lessons, right? If we learn. <laughs> and that's the thing. Will you learn something from this lesson? Mm. Will you learn something from that? Okay. So self uh, take responsibilities. Number five, that was number four, was take responsibility if you messed up. Number five, reduce your workload. Okay. So you got five loads to close to do. Baby, I can only do two today. <laughs> Look, I'm going to do one law before I go to work. 
while I'm on my class, I got a load going, put it in the dry before I leave for work. When I come back from work, I'm going to put another load on while I'm getting dinner ready. Hello, somebody. I done got two loads done. Glory be to God. For sure. By tomorrow, I'll be almost done. <laughs> Mess with me. I might get two loads done. Come in and take that load out. Go it over there. And then go and put another load in. Now, that's the thing now. In my house, who going to fold these clothes? get me i would get them washed but i'd be like who gonna fold now <laughs> i need somebody to, ain't no sense in me listen looking to antoine he just turned 13 honey he ain't hardly don't know how to fold no clothes lord <laughs> he'd be struggling just to fold his but take a workload off have a plan it's all right don't just let the five loads sit there because it's five get something done all right then set a deadline okay i don't want these load of clothes in here till friday i want to go out with my friends on friday or i want to lay out and have a nice dinner and watch a movie on friday i want to rest up i don't want to be doing no laundry so look i got monday tuesday wednesday and thursday get these uh these clothes done so we're gonna i'm gonna get this done and stick to your deadline so number six is set a deadline listen this is a powerful thing when you set a deadline you're gonna get it done it's just like i don't know if any of you in school you took the number you take the number if you got a reading you got to read a certain amount of pages or a chapter uh, by a certain time so you look at how many days you got to read the chapter or the book and you divide that to how many days to your deadline. That's how many, that's how much you're gonna read every day. So you can apply that to everything in your life. Okay, I got these five loads. I'm gonna do two loads today, two loads tomorrow, one load on that day, and then I'm gonna start on the bathroom. Okay, it just have a plan. And I'm telling you, little becomes much when you put it in the master's hand. By the time you didn't did one thing, um, you didn't had did two or three things. Now you you've been so motivated because you're getting stuff done. You begin you'll get in the spirit of getting things done. See, you can't knock it till you try. You don't know. You you <laughs> get to try. We've got to try to do something. All right, number seven. Change your surroundings. Change your surroundings. If you got a friend or don't like to clean up, you got to stop being around that friend. <laughs> you got to say to yourself, she talks me out of getting my laundry done. I can't deal with her today. I got to get my laundry done. I'll talk to you after I get my laundry done, girl. <laughs> I can't go out with you no more because I'm trying to save a thousand dollars. You gonna have me spending too much money. I, I'll talk to you after I get my, my $1,000 say, girl. I got a goal to reach. <laughs> you got to change your surroundings. You got to stop being around people in situations that go against where you're trying to go. <laughs> they depressed. Now you depressed. They talking about it's all right to be depressed. It is not all right to stay depressed, okay? I can't live being depressed. Come on now. <laughs> and then number eight, restricted internet. Oh, girl. <laughs> they got these smartphones, these smartphones that made us dumb, ain't it? <laughs> got us. We got this. Facebook on the phone. And what else we got on there? Phone's supposed to be to make phone calls. Now we got. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, what else we got on there? Twitter, Facebook, what we got on, girl, we got all this stuff. 
TikTok. I ain't got that one. I ain't got that one on Snapchat, but I got enough of them, girl. Oh, if you ain't making no money off your Facebook and your Snapchat, you need to turn that stuff off till you get them clothes done. <laughs> you need to turn that stuff off until you get your homework done. You got to read. You need to get that reading done. Okay. Restricted internet. That's number seven. Number, I mean, that's number eight. Number eight is restricted internet. Less. Less is more. Yes. Less is more. Uh-huh. We all get caught up into that. You know, and even sometimes we can be caught up in a good way. Because I know like on my Facebook, I get a lot of preachers or relationship, um, you know, positivity things, cooking stuff, hair. You know, when they go on a video or something, they post them, then you get an alert and you go look at it. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. You got them alerts. That's how we get them alerts and we go look at it. Now we looked at that. Now we're that. Now we want to look at some more. We want to look at something else after that. I looked at them make the cake. Now, oh, there they got cookies. I want to look at them make the, oh, they got, they making chicken, something with chicken. I want to look at that. For we know we three hours on the internet looking at stuff, listening to stuff. Oh, we know it. Oh, we on the TV. We just wanted to see the weather. Now after the weather, they just said somebody got killed in the neighborhood. Now we looking at that. Now we looking at what they said. And what, girl. <laughs> now we just spent four hours looking at TV. I've been guilty of it myself, honey. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but remember... <clears throat> We're not going to be mad and, and, and be sad. We're just going to take responsibility. Yeah, I did it. I was on TV for four hours. Yeah, I'm going to change that, though. <laughs> I got, to get this. I got my, my orders for the day. This is my plan for the day. Until this is done, I'm on punishment from the TV. <laughs> That's what I do to myself when I got to drink water. I put myself on punishment. I can't have sweets. I can't have nothing sweet to drink. I can't to like get that water in. You've got to restrict yourself from things that keep you from reaching your goal. So we're going to restrict the internet. Number nine, set rewards for yourself. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love rewards now. You like rewards. I love getting rewarded, girl. Give me a prize in a minute. <laughs> I don't care what it is. When I go in the orthodontist office with my son's braces, they got a pen and some hand sanitizer. If I ain't got one, I'm going to take one of them. I'm going to reward myself. I done took off my job. Come over here. <laughs> I'm making sure my son get what he need. I need one of them. Yes. <laughs> Oh Lord. And yeah, they used to give you out lollipops at the bank. I take one of them too. If I don't eat it, shoot, I'd have been in this line for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna take that lollipop. <laughs> Set yourself rewards. Set yourself rewards. You know, when you reach your goal, you saving a thousand dollars, you reach your goal, you did what you're supposed to do this week, you're supposed to save 200. You save your 200. Now you reached your goal. Now you can go have the ice cream cone. Now you can go out and have that shrimp dinner. You know, now you can go get your nails done because what? You reached your goal first. That's how you do it. Okay. Set rewards for yourself. Number 10 is the last thing of 10 ways to stay motivated while working. Embrace your flaws. That's a big one. Embrace your flaws. Go dog, I have to make you an administrator on this thing, girl. <laughs> I'm going to have to put you, I hope you on our page so I can make you an administrator so, girl, you can talk, girl, and organize some things, girl. <laughs> embrace your flaws flaws are beautiful things to work with you either accept them and you can work with it or you change them and be better it's okay we all have flaws embrace your flaws it's okay you know it's okay right now i'm having flaws with my hair <laughs> I did my own hair. So I did my own hair and I didn't put too much hair. So I'm trying, I'm embracing it. <laughs> I'm embracing my flaws. Lord have mercy. 
embrace your flaws. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. And you are brilliant. And you are highly intelligent. You are the best. You're the cream of the crop. You got it going on, girl. So you need to, oh, were you? Oh my goodness, girl. I know you, you got a wealth of information, girl. You know how to put it up, girl. You know how to put it up, pick it up and put it down. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk some more about that. You might need to go back into that, girl. <laughs> All right, and then five ways to stay motivated to reach your goals, okay? We talked about goal setting. We talked about that. You got to make a goal. You got to have a daily goal. Oh, okay. Well, that's all good, girl. Do what you like. Do what you can do, girl. It's all good. It's all good. So staying motivated, we still on that. Number one, you got to change your mindset. You got to stop. You got to watch what you say. You got to, you know... Don't say I'm trying. No, you are. Okay? I ain't trying to stop eating that donut. I am gonna I'm I didn't stop eating the donut. Okay? <laughs> I ain't trying to get the laundry done. I'm getting this laundry done, okay? <laughs> You got to change your mind. I'm not trying to get up at six in the morning. I ain't trying to get up at five in the morning. I'm getting up at five now. I'll, I might be struggling, but I'm going to get up here until I my body get used to getting up. I'm getting up. <laughs> so number one is you got to change your mindset. You ain't trying to do it. You are doing it. You ain't trying to be. You are. All right. Be proud of yourself. Put yourself. Pat yourself on the back and give yourself a, a pat on your back for what you have achieved, okay? Well, I might have got up at 6.05, but I got up. I got up. I'm going to give y'all better tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, I only got one load done today, a load of laundry done today. But by George, I'm going to get two to done tomorrow. I got something done. Come on now. I got something done. <laughs> Oh, look, I cleaned the microwave today. I'll get the oven. I'll get it. I got that, but I got that microwave clean. <laughs> oh, girl, I hate cleaning that microwave. Girl, I told my son, you better cover up this stuff. I got this microwave clean. I don't want it dirty this week. <laughs> I don't want it dirty no more. But, you know, <laughs> that's impossible with kids, you know, but we're doing pretty good right now. We're going on about three weeks. Microwave still look new. So we're doing pretty good. I say we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Number three, switch things up. Switch it up, okay? If you can't wash the clothes in the morning, wash the load. If you work from home, put a load in on your lunch break. Come on, somebody. Wash it in the evening. Come on, get something done. Every, with anything that you're trying to accomplish, switch it up. If this time don't work, do another time. But the main thing is you getting it done today. Glory be to God. Number four, list your whys. Why am I doing this? Yeah. Yes. We've got to try. Number one was change your mindset. Number two was be proud of yourself. Number three, switch things up. And number four, list your whys. Yeah. Because why? We got the other one was be proud of yourself, Golda. And then now we're on list your whys. Why? Why is your reason? Your why is your reason. I'm doing it because I want this house clean. <laughs> I'm doing it because I want this book written. I'm doing it because I want an A in this class. I'm doing it because I want my weight to come down. Come on, somebody. <laughs> List your why and don't, don't, um, don't lose sight of why. Why you're doing it? I'm gonna feel better. I'm gonna look better. I'm gonna feel better. I'm gonna be happier. I'm gonna have more peace. You know, whatever the the why is, what it's gonna give you. I'm gonna have more money in the bank. I'm gonna, you know, if I do this, I'm gonna be better. So you gotta know your why. And then five, give yourself a break when you mess up. Forgive yourself. Okay, get back on the bandwagon. Okay, I messed up today. Tomorrow I'm gonna get it right. I'm back on the bandwagon. You just keep on. Keep on keeping on. That's right. That's right. Give yourself a break. You mess up, get up. We fall down, but we get up. <laughs> we got to give ourselves a break. All right. I'm finishing up. 
All right. Manage, focus, avoid, and limit. I don't have time to go through that. I want to just remind you that this is for you. Remember, we're doing this tomorrow morning. We're starting for 21 days, 5 a.m. Um, Central Standard Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is for you. This is for you to shake off everything that's had you bound, to shake up and shake out everything that's just had you struggling, that had you down, that had you not in a place where you want to be, that had at you not reaching your goals and get ready for class. All right, class 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. The Zoom meeting ID is 847 3876 8550. Again, the, the Zoom meeting ID is 847 3876 8550. And the passcode is healing, all lowercase. I look forward to seeing y'all in the morning, honey. Invite another sister. Invite people. The um, You'll see the flyer on my Facebook page. Share it uh, with everybody you know. Download it to your phone. Start texting it out just for ladies only. For ladies only. For ladies only. And I'll see you tomorrow night on Zoom. All right. Tomorrow morning on Zoom. All right. I love you and I can't wait to see you. Golda, I'll hit you up on the inbox, girl. All right, let's see here.